Namaste children, welcome to today's class and what we were discussing in the previous class and what we discussed it is uh, the comparing quantities in that we were discussed uh, about the percentages in its applications and we are going to continue the same concept that is applications of uh, it is percentages today we are going to discuss how to convert ratios to percents is one topic and prices related to buying and selling that is profit loss and their percentages increase and decrease percentages today we will discuss in this class now ratios to percents how to convert these ratios to percents that is done by counting the that is the parts which are there in the ratio the total number of parts then each part will take and will multiply with 100 percent means it is 100 we are finding here percents so we should multiply with 100 multiply with what it is 100 so ratio for example here it is we will discuss an example so find the total number of parts find total number of parts total number of parts from the ratio from the ratio and, and multiply each part multiply each part each part with 100% multiply each part in fraction with 100% multiply each part with 100% and that is right as what it is find the total number of parts from the ratio and write each part in the form, in the form of a fraction right and write each fraction in the form of a fraction then multiply with 100 plus 100 and keep the percentage from the ratio and write each part write each part as a fraction as a fraction and then multiply as a fraction then multiply with 100 percent then multiply with 100 percent we will we can convert ratios to percentages an example we will discuss here it is uh, find the find the an example we will discuss here convert each part of the ratio convert each part of the ratio each part of the ratio to percentage to percentage convert each part of the ratio to percentage we will discuss here one example it is 1 is to 3 is the ratio for example 1 is to 3 here total parts is equal to what total parts is equal to 1 plus 3 that is equal to 4 now one part is there one and three part one part and three parts so convert this one part into the percentage means write the fraction of one with the total number of parts that is 1 by 4 into 100 percent 1 by 4 into 100 percent simplify this 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 10 minus 8 it is 2 then bring 0 20 4 fives are 20 now 1 into 25 1 is multiplied with 25 to get 25 percent so the percentage of the first part is how much it is 25 percent next is the ratio we have three parts are there find its percentage and write the first fraction 3 by 4 into 100 percent is equals to these two twos are 4 or you directly multiply 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 10 minus 3 it is 2 0 20 4 fives are 20 25 into 3 it is 75 percent so like this we can convert the given ratios to the percentages by multiplying each a fraction made with each part with 100 percent we can convert it into the percentages as it clear children now we will discuss increase or decrease percentage
Now we will discuss increase or decrease as percent. For example, there is um, uh, what is your day or Indian cricket team. We will find or we will find the number of matches won when we compare with the last year and this year. There will be increase in the number of matches won or decrease in the number of matches won. Similarly, when you find uh, that is a uh, shirt is uh, a uh, decreased its value from rupees uh, 800 to 600 rupees each there is a decrease in the amount similarly the illiteracy or illiterate persons in a country from last year to this year is decreased some amount that is in such cases uh, we will find either the decreased value or the increased value how can you find that percent as percent increase or decrease uh, percentage is equals to change in the amount the change in the amount may, means it is it may be increased or it may be decreased divided by it, to the total amount or the original amount or the base amount into 100 percent percentage we are finding means definitely we have to multiply with 100 and keep the percentage sign so what is increase or decrease as percentage i have given you a few examples even so when you compare your result with the what it is a turn 1 and a turn 2 you may your marks may be increased or decreased from turn 1 to turn 2 see in such cases uh, we will find this concept increase or decrease as a, a percent how to find it is uh, increase or decrease percent is equals to increase or decrease percent both are we use the same decrease percent is equals to change in amount change in amount it means the change may be it is increased or it is decreased the change may be increased or it is decreased change in amount to the original amount to the original amount or original value original value or it is also known as base base on which we will compare that is always to compare with the previous year so the previous is the base change in amount divided by original amount or base into 100 percent into 100 percent so increase or decrease percent is equals to change in amount to the original amount into 100 100 percent that is change in amount divided by original amount into 100 percent we will discuss an example for this Now we will discuss an example. A school team won six games in this year. In this year means current year, present year. Six games it won against four games for the last year. So in the last year, the same team won four games, but this year it won six games. Definitely there is a change. What we call the change? It is increased the number of games won how many games it is more that is 6 minus 4 it is 2 2 games the same team won this year more what is the percent increase what is the percent increase do you find here increase or decrease yes it is increase so how many games the increase in the game number of games one is equals to 6 minus 4 it is 2 then increase percent is equals to change in amount divided by original amount here original amount in the sense one what it is uh, the number of uh, games won in the last year how many uh, uh, games were won in the last year it is four games last year will be the base that will be the original value or original amount now here so how many uh, what it is uh, increase in the number of games increase in the number of number of games won games 1 is equals to what it is 6 is the games 1 this year and 4 games 1 in the last year 6 minus 4 it is 2 so now what we have to find percent increase or increase percent percent increase or increase percent is equals to change in amount change in amount in the sense what it is Increase in the number of games 1. How many it is? 2 divided by original.
original amount. Here original amount is nothing but what? The number of the number of eggs one in the last year. That is uh, you can write for this as a number of eggs one. Number see this is uh, increase in the number of eggs. Increase in the number of eggs. Increase. In the number of gains is nothing but what it is. Increase in the number of gains is nothing but what is change in the amount. What is the amount means this number of gains one number of gains one in the last year. In the last year, how much? That is multiplied by 100 and keep the 100 percentage. That is equals to how many one and there is a change it is 2. Total how many one matches for 1 in the last year is 4. 2 by 4 into 100 percent. It is 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 ones are 2 fives are again, 2 zeros are 0. So there is a 50 percent increase in the games winning. What is the percentage of increase? It is 50 percent increase in the gains won by the team of a school. Like this, we'll find an increase percentage, or even we can find the decrease percentage. Is it clear, children? Now we will discuss the prices related to. An item that is buying or selling. Prices related to an item that is buying or selling. So the buying price of an item or the purchased price of an item is called cost price. It's called cost price and it is written in short as CP. So CP stands for cost price. Similarly, the price at which an item is sold. The price at which an item is sold is called selling price and it is written in short as SP. So SP stands for selling price and CP stands for cost price. CP is cost price and SP it is the selling price. Now generally when we get profit or when we get loss it is uh, see for example you have a shop you purchased uh, uh, a pen for 10 rupees. When you wanted to be the beneficiary, you wanted to be get uh, more means what? Will you sell the pen will be more than 10 rupees or less than 10 rupees or it will be the same amount of 10 rupees? In which case you will know it is to get more amount uh, or to get more profit, uh, we will sell it for the more than 10 rupees. That is uh, when the SP is greater than cost price. That is selling price is greater than cost price, we will get the profit. When SP is less than the cost price, we will get what it is? The loss. When both selling price and the cost price are equal, then we will get no profit and no loss. So here we have three cases are there. So case one, case one it is that CP is less than SP or SP is more than CP that is cost price is less than selling price or selling price is more than cost price then what we get profit what we get is profit we get profit we get then what is the profit how can we find it is profit we get I will write here in this concept next case 2 case 2 if CP is more than SP, that is cost price is more than SP, selling price or selling price is less than cost price, then what we get? We get loss. What we get is? We get loss. Similarly, case 3, that is when both are equal, if CP is equal to SP, that is cost price is equal to selling price or selling price is equal to cost price, then what we get is no profit, no profit, no or no gain, no profit, no gain or no loss. There is no loss or there is no profit. When we can find this situation, when both cost 
cost price and selling price are equal then we find that is uh, the profit there is no profit and there is no loss if cost price is greater than the selling price we find loss and similarly if cost price is less than the selling price we find profit then how do we find a profit so profit is equal to profit or gain we can use both the words profit or gain is equal to sp minus cp sp minus cp that is the difference in the prices of selling and purchased or the buying that is cost price and selling price so profit is equal to selling price minus cost price that is sp minus cp sp minus cp similarly loss is equal to quite opposite to this one that is cp minus sp that is cost price minus selling price cost price minus selling price will get loss so to find loss we will subtract selling price from cost price similarly to find profit or gain we will subtract cost price from cost price from selling price then how do we find the profit percentage profit percent and loss percent both are calculated on cost price only profit percentage and loss percentage both are calculated on cost price only profit percent profit percent on loss percent on loss percent on calculated on calculated on cost price only that is cp cost price only so both cost profit percentage and loss percentage are calculated on cost price only now we will discuss how to find profit percentage and how to find the loss percentage now we will find profit percentage or loss percentage so just now we found it is a profit is equal to sp minus cp and loss is equal to cp minus sp cost price minus selling price selling price minus cost price will be profit now profit percent is equal to profit percentage or profit percent is equal to profit divided by profit divided by cp into 100% profit divided by cp into 100% or gain percent is equals to gain, gain divided by cp into 100% similarly loss percent is equals to loss percent is equals to loss divided by cp into 100% loss divided by cp into 100% so here we know profit selling price and cost price profit can be found when we know the selling price and cost price so from this we can find the cost price and selling price from this by transposing cp to rhs minus cp will become plus cp that is selling price is equal to cost price plus profit cost price plus profit selling price is equal to cost price profit plus profit when we know the profit and cost price just by adding both the sum we we'll get what it is selling price and cost price is equal to it is a selling price minus profit minus profit by subtracting the by subtracting the profit from selling price we will get the cost price similarly when we know the loss and how can we find the cost price and how can we find the selling price so when we know the loss cost price cp is equal to cp is equal to selling price plus loss selling price plus loss by adding the loss amount to the selling price how much we lost that if we add to the selling price we will get the cost price similarly sp is equal to cp minus loss cp minus loss that is 
selling price is equals to cost price minus loss when we get the loss when we know the loss. Now similarly we can find when we know the profit percentage and cost price we can find the selling price and the cost price also. Selling price and cost price we can find when we know the instead of profit and loss amounts if we know the profit percentages we can find both selling price and cost price that is selling price is equal to 100 plus profit percent p percent profit percent divided by 100 into cp 100 into cp that is we can find selling price when we know the profit percentage and cost price by using this formula sp is equal to 100 plus profit percent divided by 100 into cp similarly when we get the loss how to find selling price selling price is equal to it is 100 minus loss percent divided by 100 into cp sp is equal to 100 minus loss percent that is l percent divided by 100 into cp similarly cp is equal to how can we find cp when we get the profit percentage and the loss percentage cp is equal to what it is 100 divided by 100 plus profit percent into psp 100 divided by 100 plus profit percent divided by psp then cp is equal to when we get when we know the loss percentage how to find this 100 divided by 100 minus loss percent 100 minus loss percent into psp so this formula we use to find the selling price cost price when we know the profit percentage and loss percentage when we know the profit amount and loss amount these four formulas we use to calculate what it is the selling price and the cost price and to find the profit percentage it is profit divided by cp into 100 percentage loss percentage is equals to loss divided by cp into 100 percent both the loss percentage and profit percentage and gain percentage are calculated on the based on the cost price only based on the cost price only now we will discuss few examples related to this concept Now, we will discuss exercise number 8.3. First bit. Tell what is the profit or loss in the following transactions. Also find profit percent or loss percent in each case. So, we have to find what profit and loss. We have to say whether he will get loss or profit. When we can say profit, we will get if SP is greater than CP. We can say that he will get profit. In other case, when he will get the loss, if SP is less than CP, that is selling price is less than the cost price, he will get loss. Then we have to find the loss percentage or profit percentage, whatever he will get. See the first bit. Gardening shares bought for rupees 250 and sold for rupees 325 rupees. So the selling price is 325 rupees and cost price is 250 rupees. So here SP is equal to rupees 325 and CP is equal to rupees 250. What he will get? Profit or loss? He will get profit. Why he will get profit here? SP is greater than CP. Therefore he will get he will get profit. He will get profit. Now we have to find the profit. How much profit he will get? So profit is equal to what is the formula to calculate the profit? When we know the selling price and cost price, it is SP minus CP. SP minus CP. That is uh, rupees 325 minus rupees 250. So how much we get by subtracting 250 from 325? We get 
75 rupees is the profit. You can do here the subtraction work. 325 minus 215. So 5 minus 0 it is 5. Then go for borrowing. 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. 2 minus 2 is 0. 75 rupees is the profit. Next we have to find profit percentage. Profit percentage is equals to profit divided by CP into 100%. That is equals to profit how much you want? 75 rupees on CP is equal to how much it is? 250 rupees into 100%. Now simplify this. 0, 0 cancel. 5, 5 is 25. 5 ones are 5, 7 minus 5, 2, and bring 5, 25, 5 fives are 25. Again with 5, 5 ones are 5, 5 threes are 15. Now 3 into 10 is equals to 30%. So 30% is the profit which we got. So therefore profit is equals to 30%. So he got 30% profit. So how do we form? We have combined both the cost price and selling price. Here the selling price is greater than the cost price. That's why you will get profit. Profit is equals to SP minus CP. That is 75 rupees we get. Then profit percentage is equals to profit divided by CP into 100 formula. Substitute and simplify. We get 30% as the profit percentage. Profit percentage is 30% reward. Now the debit is skirt bought for rupees 250 and sold it for rupees 150. It is purchased for 250 rupees and it is sold for 150 rupees. So here bought in the sense is buying price it is uh, how much it is? It is nothing but cost price. How much here it is? CP is equal to rupees 250 and SP is equal to what it is? Rupees 150. Now here CP is greater than SP, therefore he will get what? Loss. He will get loss. Now loss is equal to what is the formula? It is CP minus SP. That is CP is equal to rupees 250. Rupees 250 minus SP is equal to rupees 115. That is 250 minus 150 is equals to how much? 100. So 100 rupees he got loss. 100 rupees he got loss on selling the skirt. Now loss percentage is equals to loss percentage is equals to loss divided by CP into 100%. That is equals to loss is equals to 100 rupees. And CP is equals to what is 250 rupees. 250 rupees into 100%. Now 0, 0 cancel. Here it is. 5 5s are 25. 5 twos are 10. 5 zeros are 0. 5 ones are 5. 5 fours are 20. Now 4 into 10 it is 40%. Therefore, what is the loss percentage he got? Therefore, loss percentage is equals to 40 percent. 40 percent loss he got. Why he got loss percentage? Because the CP is more than the SP. CP is 250 rupees and the SP is 150 rupees. Therefore he will get the loss and loss is 100 rupees. Loss percentage is 40 rupees. Is it clear children? Now question number 2 from exercise number 8.3 Convert each part of the ratio to percentage That is 2 is to 3 is to 5 So total parts is equal to what? Total parts is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 5 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 5 it is 10 Then each part it is in the fraction it is 2 by 10 and it is multiplied with 100% which is equals to 0 and 0 are cancelled. 10 into 2, 2 tens are 20, 20 percentage. 
Then third, second part, what it is? Three. Three by ten into hundred percent. That is equals to zero and zero are cancelled. Ten into three is thirty. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. Next, five parts is there. That is five by ten into hundred percent is equals to zero and zero are cancelled. Ten into five is fifty. Fifty percent. Like this, we we'll find the we will we will convert the given ratio to the percentages 20% 30% 50% all together how much we got 20 plus 30 50 50 plus 50 is 100 we should get 100% only we should get 100% do you understand children i hope you understand today's concept what we discuss here it is uh, <coughs> that is uh, prices related to selling and uh, that is uh, buying is one topic that is profit loss loss percentage profit percentage decrease or increase in the percentage and also we said converting ratios uh, to the percentages with that knowledge uh, your homework is uh, same exercise number 8.3 exercise number 8.3 question number 1 b bit question number 1 b bit and c bit question number 2 C and D. Question number three and question number four. Question number three and question number four. This is your homework. Complete the given homework in the notebook. And thank you very much.